Hey friends, how are you doing today? It's Gina here. This is day 12 of the 14 day social media challenge. So today we are going to talk about mindset around social media and I'm gonna recap all the 11 days of what we've talked about, what we've shared and what your exercises have been in the challenge thus far. So I hope you guys are having fun with this challenge I want to remind you, make sure you screenshot your posts when you post them on your social media page, share them in this group so we can cheer you on. There's been so many great things happening um, with some of the other people that have been implementing the things that they're learning in the challenge. So I want you guys to go check it out here in the in the group and just see what they're doing and brag about yourself too. Screenshot your post and share it in this group. I want to cheer you on and I want the other people in this group to see what everybody else is doing. So hopefully they'll feel inspired by one another. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to recap briefly before I share, share something on mindset around social media. Okay, day one was an introduction. I shared a template, I actually shared two templates. Use one of those introduction templates to reintroduce or introduce yourself to your followers. You can't assume everybody knows who you are, how long you've been doing hair, where you live, where you're from. Get in the habit of about once a month or at least once every few weeks, uh, do an introduction post. So you have two templates you can use on day one in this challenge. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And again, screenshot it and share in the group uh, your intro post. You can check out all my social media accounts. I do that about once a month on Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, all the things. Day two was a tutorial. Share a tutorial. There's a template on exactly to share how to step by step, how to curl the hair, how to do a top knot, how to do a poof pony, whatever your clients are asking about the most or whatever you feel like uh, creating. Do a tutorial. We know so much about the beauty world, skin care and makeup and hair. Share what you know online and use that tutorial, that template um, for your tutorial as some inspiration. Day three was my why. You want to share like why you're doing hair. Why did you start your own business? What gets you up in the morning? What are you working so hard for? Are you looking to retire? Are you looking to go on vacation? Are you looking to send your kids to college? Are you trying to pay your house off? Is it just something else altogether? So share your why. Why do you get up in the morning? Why do you do what you do? Day four was creating engagement on Instagram and Facebook stories. There are stickers that Instagram and Facebook has created for, for us to use to create engagement. Go back to that post. I want you to use those stickers on your Facebook and Instagram stories and start trying to create engagement that way. Number five, it was just a rest and implementation day so you could get caught up. Number six was how to go live. What type of lighting to use, what type of equipment, suggestions, ideas. Even if you just go outside and talk about what you're doing for the day. Go live, get in the habit of going live. I promise it will help you connect with your followers and build the know, like, and trust factor. And ideally, they'll want to buy from you or book an appointment. Day seven was to give the type of engagement that you want to get. So go back to that post for inspiration on how to create, give out engagement so you get engagement on your social media accounts. Day eight was a rest and implementation day. I want you guys to implement. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. I want you to have plenty of time to sit, write a post and get it out there. These things should only take you about five to 10 minutes a day. So if you don't have five or 10 minutes a day at, for your social media on a free platform, then maybe you don't want that successful of a business, my friend. <laughs> okay, number nine, this was a hot one, how to create a TikTok. So I showed an exact video on how I created a TikTok. Now, if you're not on TikTok and you're on Instagram, the Reels feature on Instagram is very similar to how you create a TikTok. I actually learned how to create a TikTok through creating Reels. So go watch that video, it's 10 minutes long. It shows you all the details about how to create a TikTok or a Reels, they're very, very similar. Uh, day 10 was your boss bio. You guys need to have some information on your social media accounts if you're using them for business about you. You can use the day one introduction template as some inspiration, just fill in the blanks there, add a few more sentences, get your bios, get some information in there. I've gone to so many stylist accounts, I can't even tell their stylist by their bio. It doesn't even have the salon that they work at. So get your boss bio up and running. You can also use that in your bio on your website, which you should also all have. 
number 11, uh, day 11, which was yesterday, a uh, quote. I gave you a, a template to put your favorite quote in and just talk about why you like it. What's your favorite quote? If you don't have one, go on Pinterest, Google awesome quotes and find a quote, fill in the blank with the template and post that on your social media page. We want to inspire people. We want to encourage them. Not only show them our amazing work with hair and makeup and the things that we do every day, we want to inspire them by using quotes and things like that. And today is just day 12 and it's recap, recapping, obviously, which I just did, and mindset around social media. So I want to give you an example of one of my students inside my signature course, Glam Hairs Academy. Her name is Tina. She's lovely and amazing. She's actually now in my membership now. So I get to keep working on with her, working with her. She was, she has a story that she wanted to share. She was really afraid to share it. I'm like, Tina, you have to create a video about this. This is awesome. So finally, after a few weeks of kind of coaching her along and getting her pumped up, she's like, I'm going to do it, Gina. She posted a short video just about how it is to work with her. She has like a unique situation that she was feeling a little insecure about. She shared it. Within a couple hours, she got three new clients. She's like, Gina, as soon as I posted, within a couple hours, three of my old high school friends called me to book an appointment. Literally. So you just, my, my point is, you just have to have the courage to show up. I'm giving you all of the tools in 14 days. You have, we have two more days left of the challenge. So you have all of the tools. Now you just have to implement there's nothing else. And we're all in here in this group. So screenshot your information, what you're doing and share it in this group. One of the girls, Cameron, she actually got over 2000 views on two of her reels that she posts. She normally gets about hundred to 200 views per reel, but she's been using the things that I have been recommending and the tools and the ideas and the templates. And she got all of these views. So this is awesome growth in the manner of one post in one day. So I want you guys to get to work, tag some friends in the comments below. If you want to, if you think that it'll be beneficial for them and they're not in this group and you want to work with someone, tag them in the comments below. And I want you to tell me which day has been your favorite so far or which day has been the most interesting or exciting. Was it the day on TikTok, the introduction template, um, creating engagement on your Facebook and Instagram stories? Comment below and let me know. Okay, friends, I want you to get to work. I am so excited to see your progress. Make sure you screenshot your posts and share them in this group. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, friends.